so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so we are going to be doing the transfer glitch which means you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start you want to make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also if you don't have a rebreather or an earpiece make sure you go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece once you've got either one of those you want to come to the clothing store go ahead and set your spawn location to last location and you want to put it on the outfit that you don't want to lose once you got that hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you will be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start the glitch make sure you put on the outfit that you want to keep So once you get in this little room right here, you're going to go over to your second character. When you go over to your second character, it should say edit or delete underneath your second character. If it says delete, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and you should get the edit option for your second character. Once you got the edit option, just go ahead and select that and when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you accept the alert and your second character comes in here, if it ended up being a, a male like mine just leave it if it ended up being a female make sure you change it into a male once you've got it to be a male just go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it and then take the picture once you take the picture it's gonna go ahead and load you inside of a new session So once you get spawned inside your new session, you want to go ahead and hit your pause button. You want to open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. Now, if there are no clothing stores in your session like mine, just go to online and find a new session. If you see clothing stores in your session, just make your way over to the nearest one. So one more time, if you do see clothing stores in your session, just go to the nearest one. And if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and switch sessions or find a new session and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So once you get inside the clothing store first you want to go to the top section go to suit jackets and buy the blue sport coat which is going to be towards the bottom so just go to the um, suit jackets and buy the blue sport coat 
so that one right there once you got that you want to back out stay inside the top section you want to go to t-shirts and you want to buy the blue striped v-neck so just stay in the top section go to t-shirts and you want to buy the blue striped v-neck So that one right there once you have that you want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants section go to shorts and you want to buy the black cargo shorts so just come over here to the pants section go to shorts and buy the black cargo shorts So once you've got them you want to make your way over to the shoe section you want to go to smart shoes and buy the gray slip-ons and you're going to find those towards the bottom so just go to smart shoes and buy the gray slip-ons so once you've bought them from here you want to go to the accessories go to the chains and buy the gold magnetics necklace so just come over here to the chains and buy the gold magnetics necklace so once you've got it from here you want to go ahead and come save your outfit and as always when you save your outfit you want to make sure you save it in a empty slot that's on your main character so the outfit you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20 you will just save it in a different slot so just save it on an empty slot that's on your main character once you save the outfit just go ahead and back out you want to open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out Once you get spawned outside after taking the easy way out, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and you want to go inside a crater. Once you get loaded inside a crater, you want to go ahead and click on create a race, and then you want to click on land race. Once you get loaded in here, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. Doesn't have to be anything specific, I just put in random stuff for it. After, go ahead and take the photo, set the maximum players on two, and you want to put the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to warp over to the airport. So when you get loaded in at the airport, just hit your back button, either B or circle, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and back out of that, and click on checkpoints. Now, it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as the race is one mile long, so just go ahead and make the race 1.00 miles long. Once you've made it 1.00 miles long, just hit your back button twice so be a circle just hit it twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you want to go ahead and test it out for some of you it doesn't let you make it up to a mile long so just make it however long it lets you make it till the um, red triangle at the bottom right disappears and then you want to go ahead and hit your back button twice and you want to also test out the race So once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, just hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. So 
so once you get loaded inside this little room right here you're gonna go over to your second character which is your uh, male and you're going to delete them so make sure you go over to your second character because you don't want to delete your main by accident go over to your second character that got the outfit on and you're going to delete them once you delete them two new characters will walk in from here just hit either be a circle your back button so it takes you inside of single player Once you get loaded inside of single player, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. Once you get loaded inside your online session, the first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn at, make sure you save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. And when you save it, you want to go ahead and save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So once you've saved your outfit, you want to go ahead and back out, make your way over to the top section. Go to fitted suit jackets and buy the polar smooth fitted. So just come over here to the fitted suit jackets and buy the polar smooth fitted. So this one right here should be the first one. Once you've got that, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. Go to the ties and go ahead and buy the white bow tie. So just look for the ties and buy the white bow tie. So once you've got the fitted suit jacket and your white bow tie, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and you're going to go ahead and start up crook cops. Once you're in the settings for crook cops, make sure you put the clothing or on player owned or the glitch will not work. So when you're in the settings right here, put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work. From here, just invite a friend or wait for a random to join. Once you get inside of here, just go down to owned outfits, hit right on the D-pad once and you should have the outfit on. From here, just go ahead and ready up and know your arms are not going to stay invisible. They're going to reappear back when you get loaded inside um, your session. When you get loaded inside of Crypt Cops, all you're gonna do is open up your interaction menu, go to the um, styles, go to the accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one you decide to buy, and then open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you get loaded inside your online session from here, you want to go to ammunition and go save your outfit. Once you save your outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component for it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it. 
share and subscribe if you already haven't and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you'll miss out on future content